Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. In the extended, I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, things you're not seeing, and three yes or no questions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things fire signs, and I upload fire sign readings every single week. For the summer, I am going to combine um, the Leo... Aries and Sagittarius signs together just for the summer. When the school year starts back up, I will go back to the individual zodiac signs, but I just have a lot going on right now. So this is all I can offer you guys. So I really pre appreciate you guys being patient with me. Okay, I'll pull some oracle cards. We'll hop right into your tarot reading. What do I have for you? Yang. You know, it's interesting because the water sign had the yin. I want to watch the reading. Orphaned. I feel like there might have been like some sort of action or premature action or pre like something happened, like some sort of action happened that it was unpredictable of what was going. The action that you took really should have turned out something really amazing and it ended up being um, a situation where it didn't turn out the way that you thought it would a leg up, and what you're not seeing is yin energy. That's interesting. This is very balanced energy. You're not seeing the receiving mode. You're not seeing, um, <clears throat> you're not seeing the emotion behind the action, and I feel like that might be what's going on here. I'll lay the tarot cards down, and then we will go over them. Ace of Swords. Lovers, getting really clear about a decision that you need to make. Getting really, really, really clear about the choices that you make, where you want to go, how they're really affecting things. Figuring out the emotion that you're not seeing behind the actions that you're taking. Because I feel like it, one of, it was one of those things where, like, you made a decision, you, made, you did the action. Like, you thought about something, you did the action. and But you weren't really seeing, like, the intention behind it or the ulterior motives. And this could be, like, you... Like, the decisions that you have made, or this could be somebody else in your life that, like, makes decisions based on emotion. And it's not, like, it's not, like, uh, immature action or anything like that. It's just, like, oh, you know what, this sounds like a good idea. We should do something like this. This is where we're going to go. But it's, like, almost all things were not considered when making the decision. Okay. Three of Swords, and it does cause a little bit of conflict and uh, stress and anxiety and um, issues when um, you make these decisions and you act. It's like almost, it's like premature action that goes on. And I, that, it, that's, I love tarot. So this card really is about premature action, not actually following through with, or not, it's not following through, it's, Taking action that um, isn't all the action, like there's considerations that need to be made. And I feel like that's exactly what you're learning is like, oh, you know, like working on your car or working on your plumbing, for example. It's one of those things like, ah, you know what, I can totally do it. And then when you get in there and you like have everything torn apart, you're like, oh, I don't know how to put it back together. And so you kind of sit there and you're like, oh, I screwed up. And so then you have to hire somebody to fix your DIY job because you didn't take consideration and make sure you put all of the tool, all of the parts and everything in sequential order. You know, it's something along those lines of like you did something, but you didn't you set it you didn't set it up so that you would succeed you set it up so that the situation actually failed and when the situation failed it was like oh no I don't know what to do now and I feel like that's the type of like immature or premature action that's happening it's like you were working on your your faucet and you busted a pipe or you busted the drain system or something along those lines like and it wasn't it wasn't, it was something that you were not going to be able to predict. So it wasn't your fault. Like, that's the thing is like, that's what I'm trying to say is like, whatever happened, there was no way to actually predict that that was going to happen. But you're sitting there. And so it's like, when you have a situation now, you are being 100% unbiased, you are being okay, you know, like, 
worst case scenario when I do this, it's going to cost me three to five hundred dollars to hire somebody to fix this. So it's like taking all things into consideration instead of being like, Psh, I can do it and then going diving right into it. It could have even been along the lines of like, you thought the faucet was the problem and it was actually the drain system. So you tear all the faucet apart and then you replace it, but you didn't fix the problem. It could be something along those lines. But whatever it was, it was definitely a lesson that you learned. And I feel like anytime you learn a lesson, like I don't believe in mistakes in any way, shape, or form. I believe in um, situations that didn't work out. <laughs> I know. That's not even what I what I believe in. I don't believe that there are mistakes. I believe that there, those are just ways that you you learned ways that didn't work. That's all it is. And it's like, okay, so you, you learned that this didn't work and you learned this didn't work. And like it wasn't a mistake. It was like you learned a lot of education and a lot of um, gumption. And it's like people who have a lot of knowledge and are very smart and highly intelligent, those people have made a ton of mistakes. And they, they don't let the mistakes hold them back from evolving or maturing or progressing or changing. Or it's like, okay, well, you know what? I just learned 1,500 ways on not to do it. I didn't make a mistake. Knight of Pentacles. So you have the Chariot and the Knight of Pentacles, and the overall energy is the Ten of Cups. It could be about finding your happiness. It's like, you know, you, you tried a relationship with somebody who was probably very quiet. And then you tried a relationship with somebody who was really good looking. And you tried a relationship with somebody who was highly ambitious. And it's like you you fought, you go back and forth and it's like you tried a relationship with this person. You tried a relationship with that person. And all you're doing is like it's you're not making mistakes. You're finding ways of what it is that you really want and what it, where it is that you really want to go. Because... You might have liked that the person was a listener, but come to find out the person was, the reason that they didn't talk wasn't because they were listening, it was because they were ignoring you and they were paying attention to themselves. You know, it's like, oh, you identified this type of personality and you identified this type of situation or um, this group of people that, that behave this certain way and that are extremely manipulative. It's like, oh, you know, that's a manipulation tactic. I, I understand these type of people and I understand these type of people. So it's like, you're realizing what you you're not making mistakes you're realizing what didn't work okay okay so it's like you're realizing what makes you happy and by realizing what makes you happy and realizing what it is that you actually want in a really out of a relationship i saw the best meme not that long ago and it was um i can honestly say i didn't know what love was until i experienced what love was not and, like, that's exactly what's going on. It's like you didn't experience what happiness was until you experienced what happiness was not. Okay. Fire signs. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, things you're not seeing, and answer three yes or no questions. A couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out, and I will see you over there.